Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our second set of exponential expressions. We're supposed to simplify and here we're dealing a lot with negative signs. So let's see how we need to work when we have negative signs in the picture. So here we have the quantity minus x raised to the fifth power. You can rewrite this as follows. This is actually minus 1 times x raised to the fifth power. So that means that this is equal to minus 1 to the fifth power times x to the fifth power because the exponent distributes itself over every factor inside the parentheses. And a minus 1 to the fifth power, anytime we raise a negative 1 to an odd exponent, we end up with negative 1. So this becomes negative 1 times x to the fifth power or simply negative x to the fifth power. So that's how we deal with negative exponents or, or negatives and exponents. The same thing over here, but now we have a negative in front, so we keep that in front. This is equal to minus a minus 1 times x raised to the fourth power. And just like before, the exponent applies to both factors inside the parentheses. So this is equal to minus a minus 1 to the fourth power times x to the fourth power. But we still have the negative in front, which is not affected by the exponent. A negative 1 raised to a an even exponent becomes a positive one, so this is equal to negative, a positive one times x to the fourth power. Of course, we don't need to write the one there, so this becomes simply, when we apply the negative in front, negative x to the fourth power, and this is the most simplified form of that expression. Over here, we have a negative 3 raised to the zero power, but there we have to rem remember the rule that anything raised to the zero power is always 1, no matter if it's a positive or negative number, so this is always a positive 1. And over here again, we have three factors. We have the negative, the x squared, and the y cubed, so this becomes equal to what well, we can write over here. Oop, there we go. So we have a negative 1, we have an x squared, and we have a y cubed, and everything is raised to the third power, so that this exponent applies to all three factors. So this is equal to negative 1 raised to the third power times x squared raised to the third power times a y cubed raised to the third power. And then when we apply the exponent, a negative 1 raised to a, an odd exponent always gives us negative 1. So this is a negative 1 multiplied times x to the 2 times 3, because here we have to multiply. When we raise an exponent to another exponent, we multiply exponents, x to the 6th, and there we get y to the 9th. Again, we're multiplying exponents, so this is minus x to the 6th, y to the 9th. And that is how we deal with negative signs and exponents. There's some good examples here.